Hi everybody, this is Anne Emery with Excel for Evaluation. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a feature in Excel called Text to Columns to parse out your data. So here's the sample data set. Capital Bike Share is a bicycle sharing program in the Washington DC metro area and they actually share a lot of their trip data online. So I was curious and I clicked on this link for fourth quarter 2012 data and instead of getting an Excel sheet, I got something that looks like this. All of the variables are there, but they're all in one sheet. So what I need to do is use the text to columns feature in Excel to put the duration data in column A, start date in column B, start station in column C, etc. So let's just copy and paste uh, a few of these rows into Excel and I'll show you how it works. So do control C to copy. Now let's go back to Excel into our blank sheet and we'll paste it in doing control V and all the data right now is in column A it's all one big mess so we're gonna parse it out so just highlight the column that has all of your data so column A make sure you're in the data tab go to the icon that says text to columns you're gonna get a little pop-up window with three steps. Here it says step one of three. It's pretty easy, we'll just walk through each of these. So in the first step, we need to select whether the data are delimited or fixed width. So we know that they're delimited because we have commas that separate each of the pieces of data. Let's go to next. Now we just need to select what the delimiter is. Well, it's the comma. Um, if it was a tab or a semicolon, you could select one of those, but in this case, we have a comma. Let's go to next. And now you can actually pre-format the data if you'd like. Right now it's in the general format. That's just fine. Maybe I'll switch things around later, but for now general is okay. And click finish. Now we've got duration in column A, start date in column B, start station in column C. Perfect. Ready to analyze. So there you go. That's the text to columns feature. Thank you very much.